Hi, Girl Boss Beauties. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, checking out a video of mine for the very first time, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I'm Stacey Elaine, and welcome to the Girl Boss Beauty community. I am excited because today I'm presenting my 2020 luxury wish list. I started a wish list that I was supposed to post on my blog sometime in 2019, and I just never did it. I have multiple versions of my 2019 wish list. Many of the items on this 2020 list came from the 2019 list, but um, I, I just never publicly stated what was on my wish list. But today I'm going to just go ahead and present to you guys and share what's on my mind for luxury handbags. I'm gonna do non-handbags in a separate video. I am trying to film this video, but I am sick. I've been sick all week, which is why I haven't posted a video really all of February, but I hope you guys are sticking with me and I really do miss commenting and chatting with you guys um, on Instagram as well as here on YouTube. So with that being said, let me present my little wish list item for this year. If I'm speaking funny, it's because I have braces and I still have a lisp um, four weeks later. So I'm trying to get over it, but I don't want to take them out to film this video because I really do try to keep them in as long as possible. So if this one sounds really bad, then when I film the non-handbag video, I'm just going to take these things out. It's a test. Just go with me. So I have 14 handbags on my 2020 luxury wish list. The first handbag on the list, and these are in no particular order, probably on my blog, I'm going to do a post about my top five. So you'll want to check that out um, sometime next week. But just today, they're in no order. I want a regular size Fendi Peekaboo. Last year, I bought a mini Fendi Peekaboo for my birthday. I researched that handbag thoroughly because it was really the only handbag I was going to buy for the year and I wanted it to be perfect and what I realized is that the Fendi Peekaboo is the perfect handbag for me. I just absolutely love it. I am in love with it and I really want another and I'm willing to go up a size to the regular size so I can kind of carry it in the office as well. It's not an off-putting bag because you don't know it's luxury unless you know what a Fendi Peekaboo looks like and so I really want to add another bigger size Peekaboo to my collection. Of course not plain because that's just not me. Um, my favorite saying is don't be basic. So I don't want a plain basic anything. The one I got last year was so beautiful and so unique. So I definitely want to score one similar to that this year. The second handbag I want to add to my collection this year is an Alexander Wang Mini Rocky. I want it to be black with rose gold studs. So this is a discontinued bag as of 2019 and they come up very frequently on the resale market. They also are not expensive at all and I already bought the um the wallet to go with it is black and rose gold. It's one of my favorite wallets of all time. It's a perfect travel piece. And so I really want the bag and I can't believe that they discontinued it, but they pop up on resale a lot. I just want to find one in really excellent condition. And I want it mini size because all those studs on the bottom make the bag heavy and I don't want a big bag. So I want a black and rose gold mini Rocky by Alexander Wang. The third bag on my list is not a specific bag, but it's a specific look by a specific brand. I want a Dior bag with large canage pattern. 
something like the Miss Dior or how they have the large canage on the Lady Dior. That is definitely something that I love. I have loved it for a very long time and I would really love to add one to my collection. I like that the Miss Dior's and also they have like the Miss Dior lockets. They seem to go for just hundreds, um, maybe a thousand dollars on the resale market. I think these bags are iconic. I think they will always be in style and they will never go out of style. And that's why I want to add one to my collection. The fourth bag I would like to add is a mini size 3.1 Philip Lim Pashley. I have a large size. I have a medium size. I would love a mini. And I want a mini like in a metallic um, color. Something very, very nighttime appropriate is what I'm thinking for this one because the other two I use as work bags or everyday bags. This is one of my favorite handbag styles. And as you can tell, from the pictures I'm posting of the bags that I like. I like bags with handles. So I really want to add a, a mini Pashley to my collection. And I just, I just have to pick and find the right colorway and it's gonna be mine. These go on the resale market very inexpensively. Only bag that I want, and I know that I'm willing to go into the boutique and buy full price on this entire list, is my Saint Laurent Mini, is my Saint Laurent Medium Blacked Out Logo Envelope Bag in the Tri Quilt Pattern. The bag retails for $2,190. I have gone in the boutique. I've tried it on. I have put my stuff in the bag. I have looked at different colorways. I've been undecided about a colorway, but I know I want the black on black on black. It is a beautiful bag. Um, and I just cannot wait to add it to my collection. I do not have a black bag for nighttime that fits more than thin sheets of paper. So I really want to use this as a day to night, very classy, dressed up type of bag. The next bag on my wish list is a Louis Vuitton Alma BB. I do not want the Alma BB in monogram and I don't really want it in the Damier Ebing print either. I want it to be something really special and unique. I know that they have different collections that come out. This is something that probably won't get added this year because I've seen the different Alma patterns that they're doing for um, this year. And I just, it doesn't call my name. It doesn't say, Stacy, spend all your damn money on me. But I do feel like the Alma BB, I've already gone into the store and I put all my stuff in the bag and it's a great size for me. I was going to buy the black emprunt leather one and um, I decided not to because I thought it was too expensive for what it was. I'll show you what I bought instead. So I ended up buying, I don't know the name of this bag, but I bought this Marc Jacobs bag instead of the Alma BB. They are very similar. And when I tell you the leather is similar as well, um, this Marc Jacobs leather is high quality. It is luxurious. It comes with the two top handles, just like the Alma BB, but it's square, I mean, rectangular shaped instead of the dome shape that the Alma has. Um, but this is fit for purpose. And I thought this is $115 and the Emprunt leather Alma BBs are going for $1,960. So um, I won by buying this one. Um, and But I do want some like really catchy, eye-catching different Alma BB to add to my collection sometime in the future. A bag that I have wanted since the very first time I laid eyes on it is a Dior Diorama um, micro canage bag in the metallic silver. I love metallic handbags. I think they just work day to night and they are kind of go with everything prints to me. I think metallics are just neutrals. And so I really want to add that Diorama bag 
to my collection, but I, I cannot afford it full price. It is just so expensive. It's nothing that is in my budget for this year. So, you know, if anyone really loves me and watching, you can just buy that for me out of the kindness of your hearts. <laughs> But if I find a good one on resale and I come up with a windfall of money, I will definitely add that um, because it to me is just a beautiful bag. It's the only bag I want to make a great exception for. Like, I don't care if it has a top handle because I will carry it under my arm and crossbody and over my shoulder. And just, I just think I would love it in spite of it not having a handle on the top. A recent addition to my luxury wish list handbag list is the Dior Dior Ever flat bag. I want it in the small size and I want like a pop of color for the bag because it's so structured and it's so professional and it's so buttoned up that I want to do it like in a neon or like some really fun color that would actually go with my wardrobe um and that i could get a lot of spring and summer wear i do realize i like dark handbags and so a lot of times when spring and summer comes i don't have a handbag to carry um so i really would like to add one for spring and summer um if i can find one at a very 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 good price one of the handbags that I've been looking at and I just fall in love with more and more every time I see it is the Fendi Can I Bag. I really love this with the um, Fendi Zuka print trimmed in red. I don't want the scalloped edges because it looks like a little gingerbread house, but I love it when it's in the black, brown, and red print. It is so bad. It is so fierce. It, it's like a powerful bag and I would just love to add one. I, I think it's a very different colorway from like the Louis Vuitton monogram and browns. And I only have monogram, one monogram bag by Louis Vuitton. I'm not really into monogram, but this Zuka print is calling my name. I want a, I want to try out, this is a risk. I want to try out the Valentino Rock Stud um, Spike shoulder bag. I want it in the medium size that comes with the top handle as well as the shoulder. I mean, as well as with the shoulder strap or the crossbody strap. I like this bag. It is not structured. The leather is soft and it's plush and it's gooey. And for some reason, that is not my aesthetic at all, but I love it in that bag. I just think it is a great mix of feminine toughness, which is what I would call like my fashion. Every time I get dressed, I, I'm okay with a dress, but then I have to do something to toughen it up a little bit. And I think that bag just really speaks to me. I want it in a like pale pink, like very girly color, like a rose baby whisper off white shade. That's what I want it in. I would love to add like a vintage Louis Vuitton sack plot in monogram to my handbag collection. I think it's very smart. It's actually a monogram handbag that I might carry to work. I think it could fit my iPad and everything for work and just look so structured. It's such a Stacey bag. Anyone who knows me knows I love these kind of structured top handle bags. And I just think this one is iconic. And I'm not a big monogram person but I think this one looks best in monogram actually one last realistic bag on this wish list is the Givenchy Antigona um I helped one of my friends buy a Givenchy Antigona last year and another one of my friends got one and I had been looking at the bag for such a long time it did not beat out the Fendi Peekaboo for the one bag that I could buy last year, but I am in love with the Givenchy Antigona. I have a bag that's like a stylistic dupe for it. It's not a, um, you know, counterfeit at all, but it's by Pour La Victoire and it has the same shape. And I 
just I, I've killed that bag because I carried it so much to work, which means I would actually really love a more luxurious, high quality version of the bag, which is why I'm still interested in the Givenchy Antigona. One of the handbags that quietly made the list is the Fendi Small By The Way Satchel Bag. So this looks like a fun weekend, kind of throw everything in. I would love it in a multicolor, like color block kind of design. So I think Fendi is just so fun. Like, I just love Fendi. Just, I just, I think I'm a Fendi woman, you know? And so I, they do a lot of color, they do a lot of prints. And this small, um, by the way, bag is one that quietly got added to the list. They do sell for really good prices on the resale market, and it's one that I'm keeping my eye out for. And the last bag on this list, you guys, is a bag that I do not think I would ever buy, but when I saw it, I could not believe it actually existed. I would like a dum 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 Chanel Le Boy top handle snakeskin bag. I think the bag retails for maybe like $10,000 or something. I'm never buying it, but a girl can dream, right? It is just outstandingly beautiful. It's strong. It's feminine. It, it just, it really is a bag that I think speaks to me. I went to dinner one day and I saw this lady with the bag, like the $10,000 bag just at dinner across the street from my house. And I'm just like, oh, the unicorn. I would love the bag. I can't afford it. That's why it's on this wish list. Let me know your thoughts on my 2020 handbag wish list. Let me know what's your number one bag that you would like to add this year. Um, I'm going to take some more medicine, see how I sounded in these braces, and then film my non-handbag luxury wish list. I hope you guys be blessed to be a blessing, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.